time I be dreaming But it feels so real And sometimes I believe it I mean even though I'm breathing It's me shit I don't feel Don't feel In the daytime I be working like 24-7 I don't come with no chill Official What? The coolest nigga What? Ready What? The coolest nigga What? The coolest nigga What? What? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode 60, can you fuck with me? Yeah, fuck it up the city. Yeah, y'all niggas is too petty. Petty fool. I fucked up. <laughs> Good try, dude. Good try. Hey, it happens. Sometimes hey, you got it, sometimes you don't, bro. There we go. It is what it is, ain't hey. it? I like the attempt. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing I love about freestyling anyway, though. Fun. You know what I'm saying? Fun. You that's miss like, every shot you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to rhyme another day. Hey, hey and we are bars. here another day. The Cool Table in the Lunchroom Podcast. Back again, back again. Them yeah. boys back again. Episode 60. 60. I hey. am Professor X in the building. I can read your mind and I'll wreck your wheelchair. Big up. Uh, to my left. Big Mike, Hairline Don, Cognac Poppy, the fourth Mingle, second cousin. What's up? Nacho. And uh, I'm spitting pippetry with this bitch review. I said that wrong, but fuck it. Harry Potter. <laughs> Say yeah. that one more time. Say it I right said this time. Pimpetry with that wizardry, but I said wizardry. Are you said, hearing me? You feeling me? Yeah, hey. I try. I try to spit around, but I thought so much shit. It came up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta watch out. All these niggas hey, trying to bring the commissary. <laughs> ah. On the other side of the table, y'all. <laughs> what up? What's happening? Cool table fashion, lights, camera, action. Joe oh, Money man. Jackson. What's happening? Everything. What's good with it? What it be like, man? All this good. Y'all feeling what? good? Be, man, yeah, man. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. All that, man. Had a good weekend? Huh? Had a good weekend? Man. Hey, it started the week. Hey, man. I start my new position tomorrow, y'all. That's what's up. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. Level up, y'all. So, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we're feeling great, man. Okay. All great, right. great. Niggas get promoted, act different. Bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't forget where you came humble. from. Don't forget where you came from, guys. Be yeah. humble. Hold up, bitch. And hey, don't, don't get fired on your day off either. Not, oh. Oh. Who does that? That's only in the movies, man. And what's today? No, that's no, really like, not in the movies. It, it ain't Friday. It's not in the movies. It it's not Friday. Friday. Hey. Nah. When I was at don't, FedEx. Don't start Tuesday. Yo, when I was at FedEx. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You'll have a day that. off. Come back to, like, no, no, leave the keys. <laughs> don't pick up a truck. Like, they, they'll, keep, they'll fire your ass. In a heartbeat. That's, that's how on. they do it. So, so what are, look, do they fire you? Before or, like, right before you start your shift? Or do they let your ass work the whole no. day? Oh, they, they definitely let, let you finish the work. So... They, they definitely, definitely need, they need to freight out yeah. regardless, bro. <laughs> and then, and then it, you're going to be a weird, uh, hey, come in the office. Nah, come on, man. Come on. And they're going to sit you down with two niggas and be like, why is he here? <laughs> that, that's when you know. Witness. Why is he here? That's it, yep. Got Can I get a witness? And that's it. Mm-hmm. Give me your mm-hmm. keys and all that shit. I got mm-hmm. the keys, motherfucker. I got the keys. So, yo, let's, uh, let's hit these school announcements. Man, let's go. Um, first of all, first and foremost, as always, make sure you check out www.professorxsound.productions. Follow the engine. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. All of your engineering and production needs. You know what I mean. Help me, please. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, it worked. It worked. Hey. Fuck it, it worked. Uh, also, Marlon make Wayne. sure you hack. <laughs> Marlon Wayne. Marlon Wayne. Help me, please, please. Help me, please. Uh, Make sure you check out thecooltablepod.redbubble.com to support this podcast. Please. Hoodies, mugs, t-shirts, stickers, all of that good stuff. All of your uh, need- daily school supplies that you would need to get out here in the streets and rep your school spirit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can get all that there. Uh, Mike? Hey, man, you guys on YouTube, keep subscribing. Um, our IG at the Cool Table Pod. Follow us. We always going to drop content. Um, little clips here and there. Um, we're gonna start bringing back the top five, top four. We're gonna start doing little stuff there to get y'all interacting Word. and engaging. Mm-hmm. Um, we got some album views coming out down the line, so y'all check that out. Wait down line, yeah, it's yeah, coming. <laughs> it's coming. Uh, but yeah, man, just keep subscribing, keep following us, and keep showing us love. Show some love and keep love. it real. You got some, Joe? Man, nah, man, just keep support, man. We growing, we developing, we appreciate everybody that continues to interact with us, man. It did. Yes, Lord, drop we names. Doing this drop. For y'all, we are, mm. we are. We ain't doing it for us, man. We are so committed to y'all. <laughs> Straight I up. I love it. I love it. Straight up. I, Yo, I, hey, I honestly believe this shit. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's not, it's like, not playing. It's Hell so yeah. sincere. Hell he he yeah. is so sitting sincere. down here for hey, you. Bro, it's we not are the, for us at all. We are one of the most entertaining sources out there, there man. We do. Come on, Spit we ain't this doing shit. this for our health. Yeah, oh. You don't believe that, bro? You don't believe it? 
You don't I'm believe, you, bro. bro? We a super I'm with professional you, ex. Saving the day for these folk, bro. Yeah, yeah. May they. Hairline die. What's up? Oh, yeah, Professor Pop. X, the leader of the cool kids, bro. Oh, man. I don't know. He said leader. <laughs> Oh, damn. That's dope, uh, damn. The Cool Kids I mean, is actually a rap group, though. Cool Kids? Yeah, dope rap group. Who was that? That's not, that nah, ain't my partner in them. I know nah, that nah, ain't nah, them. Nah. This uh-huh. is from years ago. Where they from? Underground shit. Uh, from? Virginia or something like that. I've never mm. heard of them. Oh, really? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I think you deleted the Cool Kids, though. Um, shit. I mean, like, I just think you're being leader to X Men. It's fine. No, there we go. No, no, there there we go. There we go. There you, we go. You X Men, though. You got powers, right? Nah, I ain't got no powers. Lockman? He just knows how to slap a bitch. He said locks. <laughs> hey, bro, do they have a, a superhero with dreadlocks, though? They Absolutely. Do, they? Absolutely. Oh, the Bishop had dreadlocks. Oh, yeah, Bishop one time. does have dreadlocks. Yeah, like Wasn't he, he in the X Men? Pon- he is an X Men. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. He Wasn't went from a the- ponytail to dreads. That was the one where they was like time traveling, right? Uh-huh. Is that the one he was? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they had back in the day uh, Static why Shock. Did, why they gotta static give that nigga a gun, though? They will find a way <laughs> to give a black man a gun no matter what. No, what time it is. Now, he didn't have bullets. He didn't have bullets. He like used his his psionic powers yeah, or whatever to shoot, to shoot like yeah. blasts of energy. It was still a gun, goddammit. It. it was it was projectiles. Gun, it was dope gun. Maybe because that's where we that's where we're used to. Is that what they're saying? <sighs> nah, well, you know what? We've been yeah. we been real mad if that nigga would have had a spear, huh? Nah, I can't give nigga a spear. But I, nah, <laughs> even in Wakanda, don't get. I'm mad they about the fuck. Wakanda definitely no. has a spear. I know they got they spears. spears. They could have gave him something else, bro. A sword. I mean, come on, can not give these motherfuckers a sword? <laughs> it's gonna be Conan. Yeah, Conan. He solo one deep. Hey, but you give the black chick and Conan the motherfucking spear. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that's that messed up because bro, Neanderthals had spears. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they, they are not Neanderthals. Why, sure. why can't we be proud of having spears? That is something that we use traditionally that, in our culture. Hey man, why can't that's we like be, being ashamed of eating watermelon? Why should we? Be, why should we be ashamed of eating watermelon? Hey man, you why? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. We love watermelon. I feel, watermelon. I feel, I feel the watermelon, eat watermelon and the chicken. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? And, and the chicken. I'm gonna tell you this. I went up to Quick Trip. <laughs> And I needed a uh, what's that five hour energy joint? Yeah. So I was like, I was like, hey, give me five hour, five hour energy, white chick. She's like, which one? I was like, pick me a flavor, any flavor. Bitch got me grape. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Hold on, hold on, what is that bad boys when you yeah. see a bucket of I went like this. Speed, a couple of grape sodas? <laughs> the fucked up part, I went like this, I was like this. I mean, actually, I actually want the grape. <laughs> I actually want the grape flavor. I'm not I'm mad that you that you thought I wanted this though. You could they had watermelon, peach and mango. And those were on the top. Grape was on the bottom. So you think the watermelon would have felt better? There wasn't a watermelon flavor, but it was either going to be that or grape. You know, Dave Chappelle had a joke about that one time. Mm-hmm. He was talking about that Sunday Delight commercial. It was like, next time you look at that Sunday Delight commercial, look at the little black kid in the back. Everybody else, like, they open up the refrigerator, they're like, hmm, okay, we got, we got water, we have, we got, we have grape purple soda. stuff. We, uh, yeah, yeah, purple stuff. We got purple stuff, got Sunny D. And all the white kids say, yeah, Sunny D. The little black kid be in the back like, I want some of that purple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it real. That we don't drink soda. We have drink. Drink. Grape, drink, grape, grape, grape soda drink. does not taste anything like grapes. At all. Yeah, but, 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 but it tastes know. good. It tastes good. It tastes like purple stuff. God damn, purple stuff. Yeah, but purple I said, well, some, somebody uh, might be a little purple in their face right now. Mm. Might be a little purple, black and blue. Mm. Yes. Do, black people don't turn black and blue, right? She, we'll talk about we, we get, get purple. Get, White people get blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like hard that. to see the blue. But yeah, yeah, it perp. Yeah, it perp. Yeah, it perps. Yeah, it perps. Yeah. <laughs> it perps. Yeah. That yeah, bruise I mean, with that melanin, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. be having like black, brown, blue. They, they, their skin goes through all kind of phases. Like, yeah, yeah, it goes blue, through a lot. Yeah. It's that orange. pigmentation, bro. That pigmentation. Mm-hmm. Not orange. This nigga talking about Trump. Ah. The only nigga that turns orange, bro. And people from New Jersey. Talking about Jersey, sure. I think that's a tan, though. <laughs> tan, allegedly. Yeah, I allegedly. Think that's, a, that's a spray on tan. Yeah, yeah. White yeah, people yeah. do not turn uh, orange in the sun. Yeah, no. Nah. That nah. is a man made color. Come on now. And wh- why did they pick orange? Like, never, you know what? What the fuck are we talking about? Uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways. So the, if you didn't know. Yeah, so the babies out here flapping babies. Another uh, one. Somebody's it is baby. another one. It is another one. So I don't know the chick that he slapped, but the video. Had a woman that he did not hit have a phone and she kind of pressed it on his face, right? So according to him, and I, I'll play the apology in a second. Um, he couldn't see, so instead of turning to that woman, it's another one with a camera far away, slap the shit out of her. And it's a bystander, Bruh, She, I mean, it, it looked like the frame skip. She got hit so hard, it was like boom, bam, like <laughs> it was like instant. She you too she close. Hit the 
So, um, of course, you know, she's probably going to lawyer up. Probably. Well, it's more like it. let, 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 let me play. Hopefully this works. Play this apology real quick. Play this, it, mine. This, play this, it, mine. This, this, this uh, Come on. Apology. I do sincerely apologize. You know, I do. Laying he down, I give it a book. That there was a female on the other end of that flashlight on that phone. But, you know, keep in mind, I couldn't see you. Because you got the flash this close to me, which is okay. It's no problem. <laughs> but it's okay. Obviously it is. But it's okay. No, no, it's okay. put it as close as you put it. But a lot of people have flash on me, and that's okay. You know, that's that's what I sign up for. That's the risk I take when coming to you know, put on the show for my fans. You know, it's, 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 it's dangerous. You know, I'm blindsided. Cool. Fuck it. I'm with that. <laughs> this nigga too cool, bro. But out of all them <laughs> fans, you know. How many people know how to zoom in? Just zoom in. <laughs> Popping me in my motherfucking eye with the phone. So I do apologize. There was a female on the other end, but male or female, I would have responded the same exact way. You know what I mean? Of course, I had security with me the club. They had they. And then they got some, they security a giant security, security guard. Me, like, I make security treat fans with respect. I don't like all that rah rah shit that coming through. Move, watch out, watch out, watch out, knocking people out down the snow. You people paid to be here, you know, we got to respect them when we move through. Watch them say you know what I mean? I just wish you would have gave me the same respect in return. You did not give me the same respect in return, baby. You can get you can get flued out. I'll fly you out. You know, we can sit down. We can have an adult conversation. I would love to this apologize is a to you in person. I can apologize publicly. What's up with that? If you don't prefer that, I can apologize privately. I got no problem. I don't apologize. want your apology, bitch. I just bring more awareness to shit like this to just keep it from happening in the future. Male or female, you know, let's just try to, you know, conduct ourselves with respect, respect others, and expect respect nothing less others. than it's respect in return. Because that's what you deserve. You deserve to be respected. <laughs> this dude's like a, a walking contradiction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let right, me ask so. this. Let me ask this. He's amazing. Does it, seem, does it seem like there's like a cloud? Following him, or if there's a cloud following him, he's creating it. He's creating it. No, no, no. Because I'm asking. Absolutely. I don't know, but it seems like is he's always involved in a Cause he's situation. Because he's always involved. I would give him um, the Walmart situation. Where I think we had the self defense. Yeah, that was justified. There you go. Every almost everything else. But you know what almost. it is when you when you're constantly in situations and you find a way out of it. Some people start to get a little bold. Yeah. They get emboldened, they feel justified, and they just start doing stuff and they keep up in the ante. Because this is like to me a natural progression. Well, when you kill somebody, I guess this probably. I mean, that's right. That's the end. That's the end. But this is my outside of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Outside of that, um, which was you, like, you know, somebody really was trying to get at you for real. The rest of these things have been just people fucking with you, man. Like you can't take it this far. Yeah, I mean, like, how, what's what's the next move, dude? Like, does he not need to walk in the crowd or be? He needs like he needs five not, feet from the no, fans and stuff. No, he needs to not walk in the crowd. He's obviously not cut out for it. No. And the funny part is the name of the tour is the Up Close and Personal Tour. Oh yeah, she, how I she definitely got up close and personal. <laughs> how so, I so uh, you know? I, honestly, I think the baby. I mean, if you're watching this or not, hearing this, but uh, just stop, just stop. Just I mean, don't, like, don't be, don't, don't walk in a crowd with your giant bodyguards. You have fans; these are your fans. They're there to support yeah. you, and you're slapping them. Yeah, but you can't. If you get touched in the eye with a phone, you know it's a phone. You know you ain't been struck. But even if you have, you have security there. Mm-hmm. The club has security, mm-hmm. which you need to do. It's not touch. Don't Use touch your anybody. resources. Yeah. I'd have been like this. Zeus. What's that big motherfucking name? <laughs> he says Zeus. Zeus. Yo, Demo, Godzilla. Them. Yeah, Godzilla. <laughs> Yo, eat these niggas, man. <laughs> like anything besides you. Because you get in a lawsuit, bro. Somebody going to fly her out. Oh, man. It's on the way. I'm about to you. You about to- Honestly, if I was her, I would sue you on principle at this point. On GP. I might have let it ride until you did the apology. The apology was such BS, man. Bro, that nigga is in the bed. <laughs> and he, he zoomed out. the phone in his. <laughs> hey man, that nigga was like this. That's how he feel, bro. He was like, yeah, that's yeah, how he yeah. feel. Just give me respect, you know what I'm saying? I give you respect, but you need to. 
You need to give me my house. Like, nigga, Damn. you hit her. She did not touch you. You are talking to the wrong person. The person you struck did not touch you. You touch you. So who the fuck are you, you talking to? The lady that got away with it. Hey, <laughs> like, hey, fuck hey. You to? But see, this is why you can't. This is why for him. Like you said, he should just stay away from getting just in the crowd. Just, because you you can't just strike out because somebody touched you. Nah. You're saying of your own admission, it's dark, it's a bunch of lights out here, it's blinding, you can't really see. But he's cool with it. That means that you don't know what's going on. But no, but he's cool with it. So you're not... In, uh, I, I know, right? <laughs> he yeah. signed up for it. That's yeah. the part of it. I know, I know you know that's you know, what's signed up for. Mm-hmm. Cool. You know all the fans, you know. It's fine. Take the pictures. Put your phone give, me, out. give me my respect. Don't stand <laughs> so close to me. I don't know. It's some clown shit. Like, uh, with so the baby. Listen to one too many Project Pat records. Mm. Man, you I, definitely stop out. I, I bet you won't hit a motherfucker. Hit a motherfucker, bitch. Come on, man. Come on, Obviously bro. influenced. Not your fans, bro. Not your fans. I mean, he's obviously a little reckless. Like, I'm not mad. Like, I think musically, of course, he, he he's doing a phenomenal job out here, right? But this is the type of situation where people might stop fucking with you. Yeah. Like, you've done it too much, and now you're hitting women. The guys... Okay, we get it. Right, you, p- people are going to... You could be... You could sell a bad boy image like that. Mm-hmm. The women... Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna rob that. Me too, movement. You can't be a gorilla on the hoe, bro. <laughs> Cancel gorilla. culture all that. Yeah. Hey, go. Whoa. You think gorilla on the hoe? On the hoe. Oh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> you listen to Project Pat too much. Yeah, Project Pat. I'ma come to your show. I'ma act a damn fool. Ah. I mean. Security butt in. I'ma play it all cool. I think he, he did play it cool. He just walked, calmly walked away. If you take another pick, I'ma slap their ass too. <laughs> you know what's funny? They booed him and no one else took pictures. Dude, dude I'm just saying, like they, say, they, they said booed that him. they, they booed yeah, him. that they did boo him. He did not perform. It would have been great if everybody just would have left. I thought that was him leaving. I didn't know that was him walking in. They said in. he got booed and then the performance song. That's the, I read the TMZ thing. I, TMZ. Hey, can, hey, hey, hey. What I'm city, y'all? Up. What city? Tampa. You know, Tampa. Mm-hmm. Right. I did know that. Yeah. Flo Rida. Florida. <laughs> Crucial, is that man. What for, <laughs> is that what they know for a floor rider? No, it's just the way I said. Oh, because his name is Florida. <laughs> the it's just the way it's pronounced. I don't pronounced. know no rapper from Tampa. <laughs> it's just the, the way his name's from pronounced. Tampa Bay. Buccaneers. Nah, man, that's crucial. Who? Buccaneers. Fucking Warren Sapp. It, it, it shut the fuck up. Y'all, y'all, y'all just naming <laughs> players and shit. Jameis. <laughs> <laughs> Winston. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, J- Jamias. We keep calling him. Is it Jamias or Jameis? Nigga, his name is Jameis. Jameis. Uh, Why do they keep calling him Jamias? Who the fuck? Who, who, who did you hear call him Jamias? Some announcer, Jamias Winston. I bet he was white. Yeah, of course. I did. Yeah. That answers it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Of the Caucus Mountain. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm done with this. I think the baby is stupid for even. I don't know, man. Stop walking. Stop slap hitting people. Just stop. Stop. I don't know, man. Stop, stop. He, he it, needs some silly. type of therapy or something, bro. Real talk. I mean, his his, his sales are about to be affected. You know yeah, I was saying? about to say because he's winning, man. But right now, bro, come on, man. You can't be. You got can't people do it coming to, to your shows during the coronavirus, so they're saying stay inside. Niggas is going out to see you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you slap. Them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> come on, man. You know what it'd be wild? I can't take it, bro. What if after all of this, he just slapped a person and then he came down with the coronavirus because the person was slapping? <laughs> I think about this. <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Because <coughs> <laughs> think about it. It's <laughs> that hurt. Curse. That hilarious. <laughs> Stupid, man. I ain't brave, man. What the hell you say, bro? Listen, I'm not like you. I, I, I don't think I can squab up with a 22 year old reckless ass nigga like that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to handle mine, but if that nigga come at me, remember the type of nigga you shoot? I'm definitely shooting that gorilla. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely shooting by this. So they say no, you, you live all them ways to get hit no, with this folder. <laughs> I'm hitting you with the bottle, nigga. We, I'm an acting damn fool. Bowden. in front of your partners yeah, and shit. Yeah. And then you got that big ass security guard. I know if our crew met their crew, I was thinking about this. You know we can get fucked up, right? Man. <laughs> you know you don't fucked up, right? You know we done fucked up. Like, hey, man. Here we go. Joe, what, what, what you gonna do? It just depends Did you who's see this? around. You it not hanging around. around. No, 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 no. I want to hear this. That big motherfucker that's always around him. Brad, you got my you, back? Do you know any big motherfuckers? That size. I've never met I, nothing in life that size. Joe, come on, man. I've uh, never met. He Joe, is on, a. Per, hold on, hold on, Joe. If me and the baby Hulk's got into it. I know niggas that size, but they might not be able to. 
I don't know. Might not be able to handle him, bro. That nigga <laughs> looks like a bull master, bro. Yeah, nah. I mean, that hey, nigga man. has no neck. I mean, I dig it, bro. I mean, like, bro, he's gonna dig you, huh? He's gonna dig you, <laughs> bro. Nah, man. I got. I got we gonna be digging the grave. I got for the cow for that shit, bro. Nah. Okay, cool. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, thank you. Nah, thank I got for the cow. Wisdom, shit, like wisdom, that. sir. No, nah, I mean that's just facts. Got I mean, it, you like, gotta pop that. You know, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! I mean, like I'm what I'm two ten. Hit it with the four four. Come on, man! I'm two ten. That nigga look like about three twenty. I'll, I'll, I'll scrap. Muscle solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was about to say. Cause I scrap two feet, bro. I will fight, bro. But it's like, yo, man, it's levels <laughs> to this shit. Yeah, Not that nigga. <laughs> nah, man. All right, I mean, good, good, good. Hell no! Nah. That nigga had to get poked, stabbed, shot. Strangled, tased, all that good shit. <laughs> pause. God damn. Nah, no pause, bro. That shit's Hold over up. with. No twenty twenty. Hold up. You gonna poke him? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I, I know what you mean, kinda. Whatever. It's all good. Twenty twenty. It's twenty twenty, my nigga. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Maybe he likes to get poked. That's I don't know. I, I don't know what situation it's gonna go, man. <sighs> Look at, look, look at this Joe. is look the reason why we have this word. Yeah, <laughs> man. Shouts out to the Dipset. Shouts out to Jim Jones. Shouts out to Cam. Shouts out to Dame Dash. Shouts out to them boys, man. Pause. <laughs> All right, man. So, anyways, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout yeah. outs to uh, the lady who's about to get a bag. Whatever her name is, yeah. yeah sister. Shout out to Bree. Ice. You, you, ice. You, you're, you're going to. You earned it. Mm-hmm. 100. I ain't talking about ice on your wrist, nigga. I'm talking about on your face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep swelling down. <laughs> Hey, that's not a jab. That's real. That's real. Show's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. The baby uh, uh, work yeah. on yourself. Yeah, please, please, sir. Baby, don't grow don't, up. Don't, don't <laughs> grow up. <laughs> he about to get a grown man. Uh, <laughs> sorry, there. But you know what? Let's get off it. Let's get off it. Yeah, Y'all yeah. stupid man. Hey, hey man, listen. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um. Definitely don't don't jeopardize the career that you have moving forward, man. An amazing I don't please, think you have please. too many more incidents left. To be able to, of this caliber, um, to get that off. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely a grave injustice that you did to the young lady. And um, I think the people uh, are thinking that there's another grave injustice that has occurred. Um, case in Alabama. Ah. Um, a gentleman by the name of Nathaniel Woods. Yeah. Um, our, our resident correspondent. Break it, break it down for us, uh, Michael. You want me to break this down? Big Michael. <laughs> Big Michael. Um, so basically, from what I from what I understand, this is just a real, real summing it up here. In 2004, um, there's a police officers, I think four, right? Four police three. officers, three. I think three That's died. Four. No, it's four. That's three, four. Three, three, three died. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. He had a misdemeanor, and they came to animal warrant I guess arrest him. Um, there's a guy in the in the house named Spencer. Mm-hmm. Um, altercation happened verbally. This dude, Spencer. Is the one not that. Nathaniel Woods, right? He he shot a lot of them. He got he got he got three of them. He killed three, injured the fourth. Uh, when they came to do the arrest, Nathaniel was in a neighbor's house and they found Spencer in the attic. So that's how they found Spencer, and of course they found out that Nathaniel was actually in the house where the shooting happened. Um, just to let you know, in Alabama, in Alabama, if you are associated with the murder, you're as guilty in Alabama. <laughs> the county of Greenville. Yeah, yeah. You are just as guilty as if you pulled the trigger. So basically, they gave Nathaniel three murder charges, which is, you know, the death penalty. You can go for capital murder, right? I'm talking about hands free. Yeah. He didn't touch nothing. He didn't shoot nothing. Yeah. Uh, now, the jury voted 10 2. So they voted. A non-unanimous decision. So there wasn't unanimous. There was just 10-2. But in Alabama, you can still get the death penalty if the judge chooses to do so. You don't need to have 12 ju- juries to do it. 12 jurors to do it. So they set the death penalty. Let's fast forward to, I think he got executed a few days ago. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Thursday. Thursday night, 9 p.m. Yeah, Thursday night, 9 p.m. It was kind of sad. They told him about his last meal. He only ate like one bite. You know, shit like, ah, how could you eat any fucking thing? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Rest is so Executed. Damn. And that's what happened. So we're here because basically that incident happened. He got the death penalty for not killing somebody. But and, they're saying he was like the, the mastermind. Shooter, and yada, yada. The shooter is still breathing. But he's on death row. He's on death row, though. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna die, sir. How does the innocent man die before the shooter? 
It's a lot of logic. Well, they, in that. They, and and once again, they're they're saying he's not innocent. That that, that that's the whole what you talking about. That's the problem. So who's not innocent? They're saying that Nathaniel, Nathaniel is not innocent. That's why he ha- he was executed. Break it down, Joe. Make it, you know, it's, it's, on, it's on their heart. It's on their soul. Who's they? When you know, like the, the court system, um, the judge, the shit, basically the court system because the jury. I, I mean, well, how about to, this? What does the evidence say? Ain't that what you know? What I'm saying holds weight in the court of law. You know, and. Yeah. He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't kill anybody. Um, I don't know, man. This is it's so unfortunate, man, because it's like the governor. They said that the governor could have overrode the um the judge's um decision or whatnot, but, yeah, but that he didn't happen. Who wasn't gonna do that? You know, um, they had celebrities out there supporting this dude. Ti was out there. I think they said that Kim Kardashian West um was um and supported this dude, and you know. <sighs> Just it's unfortunate, man. Another um failed situation by the system. That's what I feel. Thoughts? Yeah. What do you think, X? Uh, yeah, X about to break it down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got him too. Why did you do that, man? I'm sorry, fuck with you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I've looked into the case. Um, I think that this is a teachable moment. Mm-hmm. Is what I think. Um, Very. I think that. We have to be careful of the company that we keep. And I think that associating yourselves with some people, I, and I said this on the last podcast, uh, unfortunately, life is not fair. And sometimes we make decisions and we end up in situations that were avoidable, but we end up dealing with the ramifications simply because we're associated with the people and the parties that are there. Um, if I'm in a car with a bunch of people that are, you know, Popping pills and doing drugs or whatever. They're, they're, they're all intoxicated. They got stuff on them. If I'm riding in the car and I don't do any of it, we get pulled over. You're I'm ex- going to jail. You're accessible. Just, it just is what it is. Um, I'm not saying that this is right in the situation. I'm not justifying um, the murder. Is I mean, this the, bullshit? the execution. Is this bullshit? It depends on how you look at it. No, I'm asking you, bro. The about Him dying is bullshit. Yeah. Um, being executed. I think... From my personal opinion, I think that the execution is bullshit. Um, but at the same time, I'm looking at that from my standpoint. If I step back and I look at it from the, the perspective of the people that are that were in the situation, because you got to look at this too, right? He was being served with a warrant, and I don't know if you've looked into his background. When we say he, we talking about um, Nathaniel Woods. Nathaniel Woods. Yeah. He was being served. Uh, yeah, he was so, getting a warrant. But he was a drug dealer. Um, but he had been in trouble with the law already. Um, but he was with the guy um, that opened up fire. So you you know what kind of person this is. You might not have known that he would have opened up shot, the trigger. The shooter, actually guys, said, yeah. the shooter actually said that he didn't know and he didn't plan on shooting him. It just, you know, like fight or flight, I guess. You know, That's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I'm not saying that this was set up. And based on that in particular, I would feel like at the minimum, the death penalty penalty. The death penalty should have been vacated for Nathaniel, but once Easy. again, yeah, give it to Spencer. Re- regardless of how, uh, regardless of what I think is right or wrong in the situation, I think the most important thing because he's gone at this point. We can we can harp on about the injustice about it all we want. I think the bigger lesson from this needs to be just watching the company you keep. From, from my perspective, watching the company you keep on top of um, um, political things have to change. I suppose, and I mean, I guess we can change that by voting, huh? And that's the problem, man. Alabama, like, just just move by voting, huh? I, I, I honestly, I, man, I, 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 I would leave Alabama with laws like that. That's pretty that's much going to serve injustice. Like, for instance, what culture? So many cultures come to America for what? A right. better life. They leave India. We leave China. Everybody leaves. Everybody leaves to come mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, you want to stay in that kind of injustice. Fuck that. Like, like if you guys want to revolt, your- if you guys want to revolt and go after him, hey, man, I wish you the best on that. It's going to be a tough battle. But, hey, you, you gain supporters, start doing fundraisers, do anything actionable to try to fight against the system. But we know, we know that's a tough-ass battle. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But you know one thing you can do? The fuck out of Alabama. Bruh. I mean, it's all my heart. Fuck Alabama. Bruh. If you're from Alabama, I'm sorry, but it's like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to stay there if, 
if, if this, if this can happen, because this... And this ain't the first time. Have you read about it? They've done it two times before on yeah. a... A 10-2 or 9-3 decision on a death penalty. The judge was like, nah, I kill him anyway. Because of association. Judge Fuck and that. jury. Fuck. No, the, the, the jury. Like, like, no, like, no, no. I'm saying the judge is obviously the oh, judge yeah, you try, and you, jury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. fuck the jury. Shit. Yeah. That's basically what your actions are saying. Is whoa. In one word. Whoa. Wow. It's unfortunate, man. It's heartbreaking, bro. Real talk, man. We, um... Like how you said, the company that you keep, um, it's a it's a lot of factors and variables in it, but above all, man, it's an injustice. It's a it's, it's it's not a just. thousand percent injustice. It's I don't think he should have I, I don't think he should have died. No one no one's like, you know, he wasn't a saint, but it's like you don't kill the man. You know what I mean? For not pulling the trigger. He was being issued a warrant. He he abide by the rules. He did he did he did surrender. Yeah, he himself. surrendered. His man's is nuts. Like, you know, I I don't know what I don't know the details on what escalated supposedly, and this is a speculation, that he was uh, supposedly their little empire, whatever they had going on, was paying off crooked cops. This is this is a theory. The, the three cops are dead, so, you know. I mean, we don't, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, that's done. But suppose that's the theory, and he, he decided not to pay no more. Once again, all theoretical. So that happened. We don't know. Let me ask He's this. Not, um, he doesn't sound like a mastermind, though, from, is, from, from listening to him, though. Do we think that race is a factor with this case? Alabama, white people, more than likely. But we have to understand that in, th- in, in that culture, in that part, it's, it, it's pro- it might be a little racist. or It is racist. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to, to like, like you guys are saying, like, you can't just like exclude Nathaniel a thousand percent because he is around people and he himself are doing shit where karma, if you believe in karma, guys, or something like some shit like this could happen because the laws are set up to fuck you. Period. Because that, that shit would have found places York. you just don't want to be a criminal at, I guess. Or nah. be a criminal and get caught. You don't want to be a criminal anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, of course, but. But look at the movie Mercy places. with uh, Michael B. Jordan. That was based in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Uh, same the Jamie Foxx Yeah, Jamie mm-hmm. Foxx. Yeah, that was, that, that was in Alabama. Where was the time to kill? That was Alabama. Oh, it wasn't. Was it? Mississippi or Alabama? I think it might have been Mississippi, actually. I think it might have been Mississippi, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, yeah that, I think John Grisham is from Mississippi. Yeah, you know, we, we have our, our, our share of things. Yeah. Well, yeah, Georgia's right next door to Alabama. Come on, man. You know, it's But we live in an amusement park. Huh? Atlanta, Metro Atlanta, Atlanta. You said the amusement it's park? It's an amusement park. Yeah, yeah. Georgia yeah. as a Six state <laughs> is it's wild. Fucked it's fucked up. Yeah. Georgia is no, actually, in my yeah, opinion, worse up. than Mississippi. Have you ever been to Rome, Georgia, bruh? I have. <laughs> Shit racist. Bruh. <laughs> I, mean, I went to the gas I, station nervous because I've never seen so many people just... I was like, nigga, I'm trying to get a Red Bull to hit the road. I've never it's been bad. afraid in Mississippi. To go anywhere, I have been afraid in both Alabama and Georgia. Indeed, Mississippi's real, real. where you from, so I think it's nope. It ain't got nothing to do. It ain't with got that. nothing to do with that. And it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the type of people that I've come across and encountered. Mm. Um, because even growing up in Mississippi, because when you grow up somewhere, you know where to go and where not to go. You know where the danger is. You know where okay, some you, nonsense okay, is going to happen. That's, that's sort of like my point. That's like, awareness. That's your though. home. You. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. But I'm yeah. saying there are parts of Mississippi. That I didn't grow up in. I grew up in one city in Mississippi, and I was there the majority of the time. That's where you get small town mindsets from because people grow up in one area and they just never they don't leave. leave. They yep. never leave. Right. Um, I have been to different areas in Mississippi, um, and for me, I've never been afraid in these parts. I knew that they were racist people. I could look at you and say, oh, "You don't really care for me too much." So, what? but my bad interactions mm-hmm. with with um, Caucasian people. With police officers, um, the worst of the worst of those interactions have happened in both Alabama and Georgia. Crucial. And I, so I, I got you, but it never happened in Mississippi, so that's why you feel that way. But if it did, would your thoughts change? Something bad happened. I'm not. I'm not. Again, I'm not saying that bad things don't happen in Mississippi. That's not what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is that the level of those interactions and and feeling unsafe, like literally unsafe, I've never felt that. What's and I know a lot of people, you know, we got a lot of black folks that live in um that live in Mississippi. Um, and I don't as far as the people that I know, I don't see those people, you know, feeling unsafe either. They think certain things are nonsense. Hmm. Um they think that, you know, they think that certain laws aren't what's up. You know, if you're living in Jackson, there's a lot of things that go on in Jackson. 
uh, my cousin, um, God bless the dad, who just passed away a couple weeks ago. Oh, um, he, sure. you know, he was very vocal about a lot of things that would go on in the Jackson um, Jackson system mm. uh, and about different methods of how to change that and what have you. And um, but he he was never one that was like, you know, F Mississippi, I don't care about the boss. And I was like, for him, it was like, yo, we can actually do something about the things that happen here because we have the collective um, numbers mm. and the ability to change it. Just not mm. enough people felt like doing something about they it. They don't give a fuck. They just, they, they just contend and accept. Yeah. Hmm. Fucked up. Fucked up. But it's yeah. crucial, man. I mean, rest in peace to Nathaniel, man. I, like, again, I think it's an unfortunate situation, and I don't want to be misconstrued in my words. Um, we again, get our I just, I just feel like um, just we as black people in general, and you can say people in general, but I'm specifically black people dealing with this. Yeah. Um, just, you just got to be smarter and move smarter. And I think that there are moments that happen that are tragic, but I think there's good that can come out of those tragic situations by learning something from them and applying that to our everyday lives on how we move around. How hard that may sound, I agree with you, bro. That, like, we got to do what we can in all these situations in life. The negative, find some type of ounce of gold or some positive in it because I guarantee you it's there. It's there. We have to. I don't know what it is in this situation. I guess changing laws or, you know, just fighting the fight a little harder or more awareness, like how you said, the company that you keep. How you move, I don't know, but y'all be safe out there, man. Man, yeah, 100, 100. Um, yeah, man, he was looked at as uh, public number, uh, public enemy number one in a lot of people's eyes down there, unfortunately. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And public enemy is actually the public enemy of some other people in the media right now. Hold on, let me, let's do an applause for that. Like that? That, that segue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby. Public hey. enemy. Slow clap. <laughs> that was good. So, th bro. Not another team movie. Bro. <laughs> that nigga was waiting that whole movie. I had to movie. think about it. I had to and think about it. I was like, where do I know that from? Hey, and then that one moment he had it, that nigga said. He fucked it up. Someone got, hey, hey, I, I want to give you your flowers while you're here, brother. That was a great segue. Boom. Thank you, sir. All right, so go ahead. Corporate finish. handshake. <laughs> Hit the nigga with the elbow with joint. With the cool table, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Public Enemy, Public Enemy Radio. Public uh, Enema. Public Enemy Enema. Radio. <laughs> In the Enema. Public Enema. Enema. Damn. That's the, that would be what Flav calls him uh, moving forward. Weatherspoon. Public Pu Enema. Public Enema. Give a damn about no Public Enema. <laughs> <laughs> My man, Flavor Flav. Uh, also, Flavor Flavor. Um, um, no, was it Flavor Love? Flavor Love. Yes. 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 Season one and two. What's her, name? What's her name? Bridget Nielsen. New yes. York. Mm. Yes. No, no. Remember New York? Flavor her too. Yeah, yeah. She got her own show. Love. She got her own show now. Oh, um, what was Hoops? Was Hoops? Was she on? Hoops. She was yeah. on Flavor yes. Love? Yes. Yes. Bro. yes. He oh, played, he played niggas Those on. are the only names I remember, but yes, yes. Throwback. Bro, Flavor. That the Godfather is. of reality television, like that mm -hmm. Bachelorette style shit. Cause I don't remember that shit before him. That uh, no. him having a group of women chase him, like as a dude. I've never seen that before. Flavor Flavor, a dude. I mean, that nigga's like a six foot, five foot roach. <laughs> I ain't mean that. 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 Bro. I mean that. I ain't mean that. Come on, We're not gonna <laughs> disrespect the yeah, legends. Yeah, no, I didn't, man. I, didn't, I didn't mean to, bro. We're just... not gonna disrespect the clock, bro. We that, not on that kind of that time today. That was disrespectful, today. man. That was, was that disrespectful? You called him a five foot four roach. God damn. I mean, that he, was racist. That was sir. a roast, man. That wasn't racist. I'm black. Come on, what the <laughs> I'm <laughs> black. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, Flav, bro. I'll be like, bro, that dude got some, he got some challenges, man. You know, it's like, <laughs> what? You know. Come on, man. Hey, Come on, challenges. Man. Yeah. Like the circumference of his face is. Oh, no, but I just felt, you know what I'm saying? The, the Tony Yayo. The Tony Yayo. Man. So the godfather of reality television, uh -huh. uh, probably one of, if not the most legendary hype men in the history of hip hop. Nah, I'm going to give it to him. You gonna give it to him? I'm gonna give it to there him. There is no other one. Um, you can the, say the Split runner Star. up. He's the runner up. You can say Split you gotta Star, give right? it to Flav. You have to give it to Flav. You have I'm to. I'm trying to think of another hype man that even comes close. Because Split can't. Star doesn't even come close, and he's the closest. Nah, Split's number two. That's it. Fuck that. That silence. I can't think of that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, <laughs> y'all remember that number one? one. Y'all remember that big dude that used to perform with um Bone Crusher? See, I don't know that. Who's that? I don't know. It was I don't know. It was just another fat nigga. Both of them niggas used to perform with their shirts off and shit. Who was that? 
I can't remember his name, but he was a hype man. I, I, he's what the only I, one I can remember. Listen, both, I was about both. to say Fat Man Scoop for some reason. Nah, it ain't Fat Man Scoop. He's the Fat DJ. Man Scoop. He's I know, DJ. but I was about to say that. <laughs> Pump the room here with Fat Man Scoop. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga Fat Man Scoop. Work it. Work it. That's my nigga. Was it Bo Hagen or Bo Hagen? Bo Hagen. Was it that? Bo Hagen. That little John's uh, yeah. artist at the time. Yeah. Don't ask me why I, I know. I ain't gonna call him a hype man. He's Like you said, he's an artist, man. He was, I think he was an artist, bro. It was he? Yeah, I not only that, bro. Like, it's it's story. Stories going around like Bo Hagen speaking. That's another story. We're gonna talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's another story. I don't want to get off subject. But, oh um, snap! But nah, yeah, we're we gonna talk about it. But, <laughs> I um, need to hear this. But nah, he's the number one though, man. Okay. Hands down, number well, one. Well, with all of these accolades that we give him, right? To me, well, let's let's let me let me finish the story first. So uh, we know he's legendary member of Public Enemy. Public mm-hmm. Enemy, yes, sir. And uh, he's had a little bit of a disagreement uh, with Public Enemy. Entity, um, i.e., uh, Chuck D. Mm, and they've had a little a little tension over the years. Yeah. And recently, Chuck D. decided that on behalf of Public Enemy or Public Enemy Radio, that they would be separating from Flavor one Mister Flavor Flav. Y'all know his real name. Bro, you took it out of my head. I was thinking the same I even, damn thing. Bro. I wouldn't even care to Google it. No, I'm honest fuck with you. that. What's his name? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I thought I thought you had it. You was trying to. No, nah. I was asking. Oh hell no. Nah. Never looked it up. I know Chuck D's name is probably Chuck. Stop, bro. Stop. If bro. his name was Gerald, that <laughs> <laughs> you right here calling him some Chuck D. Bro. Like, fam, keep it. Stop it. Stop hey, it. Hey, 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 bro, no, look at that picture, my nigga. <laughs> bro, <laughs> look at that picture, my nigga. Bro. William Jonathan Drayton Jr. I like it. <laughs> I like it, a.k.a. Flavor Flav. Nah, like, that nigga name sound like he was supposed to be somebody important. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is somebody I, no, 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 I'm talking about outside of being a hype man. He, he did a great job. He could play the piano. The, he's the pianist? The pianist? The pianist? <laughs> I ain't say that. I just said he could play the piano. What is that, piano. penis? It's penis. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no, I don't like the way you said that. Hey, bro, I'm not doing Sounds too close to penis. <laughs> what is it? How you pronounce it? Pianist. Penis. I need to hear that T on the end, sir. Yeah. Penis. <laughs> You gotta relax. You have to relax. Anyway, so they decided to separate. Now, this was all due to Chuck D and Public Enemy going out and doing a rally with uh, or for Bernie Sanders. Um, they performed and they actively endorsed Bernie Sanders. Uh, Flavor Flav sent a cease and desist to Bernie, uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign and said, yo, you know, I am not endorsing you. Do not <laughs> use my name and likeness. You're using it illegally. I need you to cut that shit out expeditiously in the words of T.I. Oh. Yeah. And he even said, went online line of saying, there ain't no public enemy without Flavor Flav. Like, uh, like, I'm inclined to agree with that. I, th- I think that's in the email or e- in the letter, but he, he ended up sending somebody that. And I was like... I agree. There is yeah. no public enemy without Flavor Flav. It's funny how we just say Chuck... I can't... Flavor. I want to argue that, but I can't. Who all do you know from public enemy? I Doing think, all these dances and shit, the clock medallion. So we all know, we don't know the DJ, so I'm not even going to say because DJ Lord and Terminator X. Terminator X. You X, know. Yeah. Terminator X, DJ Lord, uh, Chuck D, Professor, Professor Griff. Griff. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Professor Flav- Griff, Chuck D, Both the Flavor Flav. Both the face. Let's be Something honest. like that. If you think about the Patriots, who do you think about? Tom Brady. There you go. Bill Belichick. Gronk. <laughs> don't do that. Don't disrespect. No, you don't think about Gronk. You don't think about I think about Gronk. Uh, Gronk you do because the fantasy football. I think about Gronk. The only reason why. Tom Brady. The only fucking reason why. Man, bruh, they. It's Brady, it's Brady and Belichick, Gronk, bro. Gronk, Gronk, Gronk. But all we're saying is, he's like, my favorite anyway. It's like he, I would say he. Has we more talked of, before podcast about whose lyrics can we uh, recite? Whose lyrics can you recite? Spit that Griff real quick, bro. See, bro. <laughs> <laughs> spit that Professor Griff shit, bro. I don't, I don't, Griff don't have no lyrics, bro. Is he, is and Griff, I got respect Griff, for him because we both professors. Yeah. But come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Griff is more like you know what I'm saying the militant speaker you know what I'm saying he's he, you know what I'm saying he's a speaker he had bars every now and then I don't I can't I don't remember that nigga, I can't you know what Professor Griff word. is Pro- <laughs> Professor Griff is the 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 poet out of uh you remember when when uh Floetry was a group yeah and you had oh, you, yeah. Had, oh, oh, yeah. you had Marsha Ambrosia and, and, and then you and had homie, that girl homie I thought he was gonna call that nigga from Boys to Men <laughs> nah, hey, Michael McQuarrie. <laughs> You know, I saw you there. I Everybody did. played their role. He was the best, bro. He was blue. Like, don't do that to that nigga. Yeah, don't, yeah I was about to say, <laughs> No, I wasn't going to do that to him. Yeah, he blue. Michael man. McCrary, though, man. No, see, we're not even going to talk about yeah, Michael yeah, McCrary. Yeah, Here's yeah. another conversation. I have a lot of beef with him. A lot of beef with <laughs> A lot of beef with Michael McCrary, man. A lot of beef, man. 
Bro, that was his number one sip or one of his sips, bro, of the top five. Man, he might be number one. He ain't definitely top five sips. He said, baby, I'm sorry. (laughs) I walked in and you was cheating in on that nigga, man. I should have just walked away. (laughs) Baby, I apologize. (laughs) Even though I didn't care. I don't even know what the fuck he said. I know I walked in on you getting bust down. I saw the strokes. Legs up. Wide open. Head down. (laughs) Ass up. That is not how the song goes, but goddamn. (laughs) He was hitting me with them daddy long strokes. I poked in. <laughs> I, I saw you. I didn't like that shit. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael McQuarrie. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. End of the road, bitch. Hey, bro, that is the end of the road. That's the goddamn end of the road if I see some shit like that. Man, the only McQuarrie that I acknowledge is the one from Family Matters. Who is that, Darius? Darius. Hey, that his name. <laughs> Darius McQuarrie. That's the only one. Edit. I about call him Eddie Long. Eddie Winslow. Eddie, Eddie Long? Long. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he would definitely take offense to that. Winslow. Oh, yeah. He would definitely take offense. Yeah, 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 let's get back to play. Yeah. <laughs> let's get back to play. Um, I don't think there's a public enemy without him, but I think it will go on without him. Clearly. If that makes sense. Uh, well, that does make sense because that's what's happening. Of course. I mean, we still have temptations around. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and they're yeah. down to how many and, members? And, and, yeah. No, <laughs> everybody's dead. Every, everybody's deceased. Every, everybody, every single it's person. 20, yeah. 20, my nigga. Yeah, it's 2020. Yes. 20, 20. And they yes. still out here. <laughs> the name is alive. <laughs> <laughs> All in one mic. Just my imagination. <laughs> What's again? <laughs> Stupid. Running away with me. <laughs> yeah, it's my imagination that I'm seeing the group on stage right now. <laughs> ah, he said hologram that hoe. Yeah, Eddie Kane, that bitch. Um, yeah, man, I think. Uh, but yo, just, just to give Chuck D some credit, he said this is not the reason. This is the final straw. He said the reasoning is he's missed. He said multiple shows that they were supposed to appear. Okay, he's missed multiple recordings. There's they they have like 14 albums. I, I didn't know. Okay. That. Um, he's not on a field, okay. obviously. Uh, he's missed multiple appearances. He was supposed to show up. These are all contracts. So okay. he's like the David Ruffin of Public Enemy. He just didn't. He just doesn't give a fuck about Public Enemy. He cares about Flavor Flav. Like Flavor Flav is a brand in itself. He he, he Flavor Flav went from being a hype man to on, on Public Enemy yeah, to being a separate bigger entity. He got bigger than Public Enemy at one time. Yeah, I agree. Because Flavor of Love was. Even before then, Bridget Nelson. Bridget uh, Nelson. Bruh, that, that was the game changer right there. That this was short, dark too, skinned bro. dude is with this tall, he white, the red blonde Sonya. woman. Yeah, red fucking he Sonya. Red Sonya. Um, <laughs> Beverly Hills cop. Um, the fucking Russian's wife in Rocky IV. She's always played a Russian. Come on. It's, uh, it's, has she not played any American? Those characters? are just her three classes yeah, 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 that yeah. I know. Is she not a Russian? I don't, I mean, uh, I, probably. Shit, I don't know. At because, minimum, Ukraine. Something. That oh. would be hilarious if she was green with Mississippi. <laughs> Just sounded like ridiculous. That's hilarious. <laughs> she had them long. I mean, listen, man. I think Flavor Flav is trying to protect his brand for whatever reason. I don't know the connection between Bernie and Flavor Flav brand wise. I mean, Bur- sure that Bernie's it. for the people. Bernie's for his people. People his color. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, I wonder what's the beef for the conflict. Man. I mean, not all black people are Bernie supporters. Nah, not at all. I found that out. My yeah, I didn't know nah, that either. I like Bernie, boy. And Ooh. all black people are not black people, too, huh? I don't... Hey, 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 Look at my hand. Look at my hand. I'm talking about mindsets. I'm not... I'm but what is, what is not being a Bernie supporter? <laughs> how does that make you not black? Because Bernie... Basically... He's don't get me into this political shit because I don't trust <laughs> none of these niggas. But, but, hey, hey. but no, but I mean like Bernie has, bro. Bernie has been with MLK. Bernie has been at the fourth since the civil. Do you rights. believe that we deserve reparations? Honestly, I do. How we receive them, I don't know if it just needs to be cash because I I'll do this again. <laughs> Bernie Everything's does not believe that we deserve reparations. I mean, period. we can agree to disagree. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, there are some people that have a real issue with Bernie because he does not believe in reparations. I mean, he's like, the bro, only Democratic black, uh, Democratic candidate that was on the ballot that does not that is not campaigning for reparations. I mean, for black people. This, this I feel you, okay, okay, that's I understand that. But what I also understand is black folks ain't getting reparations no damn way. And that's just an ugly reality. I mean, come on, man. If motherfuckers is getting murked and lynched, how about let me say that? Lynched by the court systems and stuff, man. I mean, come on, man. Bro, we ain't got no hope then. We no, got, no, 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 no. Bro, this is, the, this is the reason why I have the mindset that I have, bro. I, I, my humble opinion. I feel that there is going to be no change in this system. Um, I just feel that way. 
historically is is you know it's like like how I said one of the episodes ago with the Panthers when we make a stand when we do when we make the next when we put our best foot forward and do it by their rules they counter and it's always been that way so I mean what makes you think that there will be a change yeah, but if know, they always civil counter, rights is, is, right. is a good it's a good point of change like civil rights movement is a, is a strong change that we had it was but bro what see what I'm basically no, no, I'm saying, saying I'm saying you're saying historically it hasn't changed that that is a big change well okay okay the, the with the um the civil rights that was okay if you got a gun in your hand or if you fucking with the money that's when they only pay attention to you and in that case right there boycott Motherfuckers said, yeah. I will walk 30 miles. Fuck you. Are, so, are you I mean, willing to walk 30 miles? Um, Collectively, <laughs> I would be willing to do that. No, because it only made sense. I mean, come on, man. I'm not an idiot. Why no, no, would no, no, I do I'm, this in vain? But it started with a small group of people. Then it grew and became what it became. Like, it, it, the movement became what it became. You it have started to have off Okay, so, 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 so are you saying that you would? You ask me, I ask you. If I was in, if we're going through those situations, absolutely. I'm not getting on the bus. You're not getting on the bus? Fuck no. Spike Lee got a movie called Get On the Bus. I, I, I'm getting off the bus, the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting on it. There's no way. Why would Million I get on the bus? March. Million Man March. Yeah, why would I get, yeah, I march. I, I'll do anything. I'm not getting on the bus. Hey, they got on bro. the bus to go to the Million Man March. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh. Talking about you, you still going? They, on, you still on the movie? Got, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm thinking. They got on a bus, sir. <laughs> they didn't patronize the Montgomery bus system. Nah, man. I'm talking that is shit. hilarious. All right, so Flavor Flavor obviously is on the bus. <laughs> yeah. So well, my point, my point in bringing that up is, uh, what's his name? Flavor Flav. Mm-hmm. Flavor Flav is not obligated to support any candidate. I know that uh, Public Enemy was a political group, but that does not make him um, obligated to support a particular person if he if he, if he does not so desire to do that. Land of the free. Um, and so, you know, I, I understand where he was coming from. Is the way that he handled it the best way? Maybe not. I mean, he's but, flavor flay. But at the end of the day... He doesn't handle anything the best way. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to argue honest. against that. It's not even hate. It's, that's what that. makes him the brand. But I will say this: I have a lot of respect for Chuck D, but I do not like the way that he talked about the situation publicly. I don't even think that that was a thing to even. You know, you could have said that. Hey, you know, we're gonna be moving forward without Flav. But all the extra sauce that went on it. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, awesome. you, you. He's fired. Um, he has a drug problem. Yeah. He all this like, bro. If you really care about personal? him, it's, it definitely sounds personal. Bruh. That, and that, you that know what? Put it, mad it, that's probably, on that I mean, shit. it obviously is personal because I mean, like, oh you my know, God. you know, we on the outside looking personal. in, and like how you said, Mike. Come on, man. Imagine Dylan. Imagine if the cool table had a flavor flay, bro. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, that ain't you. No, that ain't me, bro. I'm on time, motherfucker. I'm here every episode. Don't play with me. Stop playing. Stop playing. He is here. You're not the flavor in there? No, bro. No. Break back. No. Stop. Um, (laughs) You understand what I'm saying. What I mean is like, bro, um, I don't know, man. I ain't going to call him no cancer. It's just that... um, How is he a cancer? No, I said I'm not going to call him that. Okay, go ahead. I said I'm not going to call him that. No, I was just basically repeating what Mike said about him missing time, so on and so forth, man. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's a group effort. And if you are a part of the group, I guess you would be needed. And if you your actions say fuck the group, then how's the group supposed to respond? According to Chuck D, his actions said fuck public enemy. So how do you respond to that, bro? I mean, that's cool. Fire him. That's fine. <laughs> you fire him, man. But you don't bring you up his drug addictions without... and things of that yeah, nature. Yeah, that's but I, I just think that if you're going to fire him, that's fine. Be clear, public enemy is not public enemy without Flay. He believes that, and he, I think he's entitled to believe I, that. I, I sort of agree with that. It's just, just not. Yeah. Same thing if Chuck D is not in a group. Just, just, yeah. just for Actually, reference. But, but, for but if Chuck, Chuck D is not a part of the group anymore, it is not public enemy. Yeah. Clearly. You need I mean, one. but that's like super duper factuals, because yeah. this dude is the voice of public enemy. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, you Clearly. can replace the DJ. Thank you. Can, you can replace whoever the fuck is cutting the record. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch up. <laughs> you can't cut Chuck D. Hey, out. shout out to K Camp, bro. Hey, K Camp, what's up, my nigga? Hey, and no, man, I, I do. Nah, I feel, I feel some type of way because yeah, man, um, flavor is he's. Come on, man. Can't come on, bro. Flav. <laughs> flavor. Flavor. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> he pronounced the hell out of that O R. 
play Borer. Hey, man. <laughs> he ain't the group, though. Yeah. Uh, That's what I think. I just think, so, again, I just feel like if you're going to eject somebody, then there is a certain level of respect that is due to them in that situation. This is why Spike Lee's situation was mm. so crazy. Spike Lee's connected to Public Enemy. Hot dog. Come on, man. Spike Lee is also connected to who? The Knickerbockers. What the hell going on? <laughs> the Knickerbockers. Uh, the Knickerbockers, that's what it's short. Spike the power. The Knicks. Let me tell you something. They said this man, over the course of 28 to 30 years, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing around there, has spent $10 million, million. on tickets. He's been courtside. Either he's the biggest fan or he's the biggest fool. Well, it could be both at this point. Well, well, you got Jack Nicholson, L.A. You got New York, Spike Lee. I'm talking about I would say Spike Lee, for me, and and this might be a bias, but he seemed like the bigger fan of Jack Nicholson. I know Jack has been doing his thing, but this nigga Spike, I I always see him because the Knicks are always bad. They're so bad, Dad. Yeah. And he's going to be a Lakers fan. He's going to be a Lakers fan. In the movie Crooklyn. In the movie Crooklyn, Spike Lee joined the um, the oldest son. Very underrated movie, by the way. Class. It's a cult classic, though. The oldest son it. didn't go to their daddy's music um, recital, recital, mm-hmm. and went to the goddamn the Knicks, Knicks game. Came in the house and said, "The Knicks are world champs," and I mean, just walked away. Man, but was, I'm just yeah. connecting that because Spike. This is how committed to the Knicks he is, you know. And they said per ticket two thousand and nine hundred ninety eight dollars per ticket, mm. and he has season tickets three thousand. And what's Might the problem? Hey, what's, hey, round that bitch up. No, but what's the problem? What's going on? What's what's the conflict, bro? What's the problem? What's the happening? conflict is Spike Lee mm-hmm. has been a fan of the Knicks since a little boy, since forever. Ever since Spike Lee achieved any level of notoriety and success, Spike Lee has been a season ticket holder. Spike. I'm sorry. Spike Lee is a part of the development of Michael fucking Jordan. Spike Lee is a he's this important to the culture. Hip hop, movies, NBA. He is. Mars. What was his character name? Mars. Um damn, I can't. Mars something. Mars Blockman, Blackman, something you, like that. Again, but the original Michael Jordan commercials back in the day mm-hmm. and stuff, so it's like it's it's an extra ow. A wow. Like, come on, man. So for somebody to be that prolific yes. and to have been as dedicated of a fan yes. to a sports team, yes. so much to the point to where even when they are absolute trash, garbage, they are wild. disrespecting your fandom to this by day. being so trash. To One this of the, day. The, the worst franchise. Bro, that's fucked up. Absolute worst franchise. This man has remained loyal for over two decades and has been using the same entrance, which is the employee entrance, for over two decades. Two decades. He goes to the stadium and they try to remove him from the elevator. I think they've already scanned his ticket and let him in. And you and can't told scan him back he got to leave. You can't yep. scan back in. He, yep. It's real shit. Once, yep. you leave, once you leave the stadium, so, and especially in New York. So you know they was trying to get him. him. Yep. I ain't going for the okie doke. So you, you, really <laughs> think, you really think if they would have let Spike Lee go out the building after you already ejected him, you, you're obviously not respecting his loyalty and the fact that he's in the elevator right now. These you think they going to let you come out and come back in? Nigga, Just to be cool? One said, more time. These hoes ain't loyal. He said they wanted him to leave 33rd Street to go on 31st Street, which is two blocks, right? Nigga, you're going to be walking eight more blocks to the subway. Your ass ain't getting in the fucking arena. I wonder who the hell they were playing that night. Does it matter? Oh, it do matter because they, 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 they were playing uh, Houston. They played Houston, Houston and won. Houston. That yeah. matters. They beat Houston? Yep. Wow. Yep. They won that night. And it was funny because it was Who talking the about hell this on plays first for take. the Knicks. Can you name one player that plays for the Knicks? They have somebody. Spike else. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> on the bench, <laughs> on the seat, court seat, balling yeah. like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> right there, supporting. Uh, he be talking to the refs. I mean, he's all in. Come yeah. on, man. He's basically as important to the Knicks as the players. Bruh, l- 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 man, b- he is more Drake, important than the players. Before Drake. Yeah. Before Drake in Toronto. Man, I mean, this is on, who he's been. Drake, Drake is new. This, Drake needs 25 more years before he can start he's talking really. to anything. 25 more years yeah, about he's been a fan for nine years. more million dollars. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but I think with Spike Lee, I think the owner name is Dolan. I don't know his first name. Yeah, uh, J- James Dolan. 
There we go. James Dolan, George Dolan. Yeah. I think it's James Dolan. So here's my thing. If I have one fucking fan who happens to be famous, right, Spike Lee, spend $10 million on my franchise, not only would I let you use the employee interest, motherfucker, I'm walking with you. <laughs> Every game. Hey, Come on, hey, Spike, Spike! Yes, Spike. James Dolan. I guess he, need, he, need to make, he need to make another classic movie or something. No, you don't, I don't he know. doesn't need to do no, shit. I agree. I feel you. But what I'm saying is these motherfuckers is letting you, bruh, when people show you how they feel about you, bro, you better believe that shit. I would, uh, if I was that nigga, I'd go on the subway and be a Nets fan. I'd go to Brooklyn. Bruh, he, ain't I he from Brooklyn? Brooklyn? He's from Brooklyn. I'll now, what's Brooklyn. fucked up is, yeah, I mean, I get I mean, it. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn we, we is it, new. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But it's like, hey, man. I'll go to Brooklyn. A whole lot of bitches jumping ship. Hey, man, cut you, the you, you, you would create a whole cut resurgence. Hey, bro, they got fans. KD and your boy Kyrie, Kyrie. anyway. Mm-hmm. Even though they ain't playing right now. Yeah, but I mean, next matter. year going to be a bad motherfucker, bro. You know what? I actually, I had an issue with uh, KD going to the Nets at first. Why? Uh, because I just felt like it would have been a great business move um, to go to the Knicks because of their, um, history. their history. You know what I'm saying? You are a top-tier athlete, and you could have been a person that changed the culture. to revitalize it. But now, after seeing this last incident, because they already had incidents. This isn't, let's be clear. This isn't the first thing that has happened. That's, you know, James Dolan. They fucking arrested... Um, Charles, uh, Charles, Charles Oakley. Oakley. Charles Oakley. Hey man, Charles Oakley, you might have to arrest that nigga, bro. Because hey man, Charles no. Oakley whooping ass. I'm being funny, you but Charles. Never hey, bro, did you see the video? You saw the video. Yes, I did. But Charles Oakley, bro. Charles Oakley, bro. It, it took him a minute to even get to him, bro. Charles Oakley was just shoving him, nigga, bro. <laughs> Charles Oakley is that dude, <laughs> bro. Like no, but, bro. When you see the video, bro. <laughs> like <he> Honda. <laughs> yeah, bro. He was. It, bro, it wasn't no fist. It was open <laughs> palm, bro. Open palm, bro. It looked like a new that dance nigga move or some shit, bro. Street Fighter moves on that ass, boy. Straight nigga. up. <laughs> Just back it up. Wait, do it again, wait. One more game. That nigga gonna fucking him up. <laughs> fucking him up. Bro, what's the hell wrong with this dude? Life is stupid, man. <laughs> with like, the effects, bro. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> but nah, man, oh, Charles man. Oakley, bro, come on, man. He done blood, sweat, and tears at that building, bro. Come on, man. You can't kick that out. See, here's out. the problem, though. Here's the problem. What's the problem? The the fans are the problem. I'm going to tell you why. This happened in the Spike League. You know, the, you know they played the Madison Square Garden. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They sell out every game. Mm-hmm. I, I found out. I, I found out. Find that shocking. That as poorly as the Knicks are. That every game has New been York, sold out. It's New, New York, York. It's New, New York. York, New York, and it's not only that's the franchise. The franchise is one of the most uh, um, uh, net value. It's like one of the most expensive franchises. They got the why, Dallas Cowboys of the NBA. I was about to say because I mean, like they only got what one ring, two rings, I, tops. They had Ewing. I and mean, the last time they won, we was not born. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't born. The last why time we talk about Patrick Ewing enough because of Jordan. Basically, no, 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 no bro, bro. he's one of I'm the people that real. don't have a ring because Reggie this Miller, thing play. Charles Barkley, Patrick wow. Ewing, there's a lot of niggas, Carl bro. Malone. Carl Malone, now that, that's a that, that's sad. Wow. John Stockton, Dominique Wilkins. You know, if he the, wouldn't have never retired, you can throw Akeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler on that list as well. You know, this is why LeBron is not Michael Jordan. Those I are think I heard lot. somebody that's say a this. Lot of star power. What, what that's a lot honestly, of star power. This is what I honestly feel about uh, this comparison, bro. I mean, like, it's fucked up, but this is how I feel, man. Michael Jordan is the greatest. Damn, he's the greatest player of all time as of competitive-wise, uh-huh. as a competitor. Uh-huh. LeBron actually, like, he can come to the Hawks, bro. The Hawks are making the playoffs next year. Okay. He can go that's to any team. Basically, he— But they're not going to win. God damn it, bro. Who's I don't know. the same, I don't bro? Know. Who's I don't the same? Know. What I'm basically they saying might is put a couple Michael Jordan. No, no, not Michael Jordan. My point they is LeBron James players. makes the like this dude right here is a D player. Okay. When he plays with LeBron, he's a C plus or a B minus. He ampli- he makes people better. Michael and Kobe did not do that. That's the only thing I'll say. But Michael Jordan definitely hands down as a competitor, dog, bulldog. Will Okay. He's gonna eat you up. So he's gonna kill you. When Mike, Mike was in the league, they did a three peat. He left for two years? Yeah. He left for two Amen. years. Did another. They didn't win. Right. He came back. They didn't they win, but they made three. the playoffs. They made the playoffs. Yeah. But obviously they were missing the pick. This ain't my opinion. I'm, no, I'm no, looking no, at no, the situation. No, 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 no. I did not disagree. I did not disagree. They were missing that piece to take them over the top. Bro, I'm Which, not arguing. Wouldn't that lend itself to say that he made the team better? Once Michael mm. discovered he, himself. He, he does not make players better. I mean, the team would be better just because he, he's 
on the team, but as of actually amplifying player's ability, mm-hmm. he does not do that. Okay, that's cool and that's fair, and I won't take it away from LeBron, I think, because this is not a LeBron hate conversation, and we actually off on the segue anyway. I know. On the side conversation, LeBron is a phenomenal player. He's a legendary player. I think he's going to go down in history books. I'm just saying that the difference between a Michael Jordan star power and a LeBron James star power is the fact that you will be talking about other players during the LeBron James era. You're going to talk about Dwayne Wade. You're going to talk about uh, uh, Steph Curry. You're going to talk about James Harden. You're going to talk about uh, Kevin Durant. You're going to talk when about... When you look at Jim Michael Westbrook. Jordan, we got to talk about you. No, no, you I no, forgot no, no, no. that you ain't even played basketball no, you, you can, right you now. You can talk yeah. about him. crazy. That's fucked up. You could talk about him, but the raw reality is, I mean, like, man, it's... Well, bro, bro, hold on, because this is some real shit, too, man. Michael and, Jordan and the actually like had the greatest coach of all time, bro. And that's real, bro. Who? Okay. Who? Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson, the greatest yes. coach of all time? I said arguably, yeah. Phil Jackson is the greatest coach of that time because Phil Jackson didn't take that same coaching method and apply it to the new teams that he coached. I mean, they did he, well. He, they, I'm, I'm not, not bro. taking he away. He was three, a great coach. He got three, three peaks, bro. Three of them. Okay. Three, three of them. Huh? He was on the Lakers, right? He got, he got yeah, Lakers. Got, yeah, that's the third three peaks. And talk shit about Kobe. But that look, you know, look, look. side don't look too good for no, but that's man, man, Kobe, out of here, man. Hey, hey bro, it is, it is. um, Phil Jackson, bro, he he was the greatest manager of alpha personalities, man. Come he was on. a Michael was Jordan, the- Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, like man. real talk, bro. Not, I mean, like, how do you manage on, uh, these motherfuckers? Coach, okay. Coach was that. Bro. <laughs> Come on, Coach was the Come truth. Coo Coach was the truth, bro. Um, Coo Coach. He, he was playing with it. Jordan 16, and 6, Pippen 11, and shit, handling the rock like, shoot what, threes. You, what you want him to do? Play with Jordan and Pippen and shit. He he's gonna be the third best player, but that motherfucker was real. Well, taking this back to Patrick Ewing, take this and, back and Spike to Lee. the Knicks. <laughs> yes, I mean like, where, where's Go the back. justice, man? I mean like, they did ass wrong though, right? Yes, that is wrong. They did yeah. ass wrong. That is wrong. Hey, y'all get that shit right. You don't treat your loyal fans, especially again, most loyal fans. That's Spike like the, Lee is the Knicks. That's like them slapping that nigga like how Baby did shouting. It's just like that. That's it. It's a slap in the I, I, fucking face, man. Y'all put the man. flash way too hard in his <laughs> face, bro. Come on, man. We don't like that shit, bro. And then James Dolan lied on my G. What do you do? What do you say? This, fam, this is the only owner that would actually release a statement about one of their super fans that has spent $10 million. That's Spike he said Lee. superstars. He said super fans. That's Spike Lee, He's a man. super fan. Yeah, bro. I, I, I like, that's a new word. If you're number cool one Cool take with these super fans, bro. We need some super fans. Oh, we do. Oh, we got wait, wait. Super? We got him. We, super we, duper What's my man, Dolo That Piff? Shout out. Uh, what we got? We got a few. He be on all, of, all yeah. the joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's funny, man. Leprechaun yeah. was that dude for a minute, man. He was f- fucking with us for a long time, too. It's yeah, all good. Got, it's all yeah. good. But, um, yeah, man, I think, yo, know, Spike Lee, I'd become a Nets fan if you're not. Uh, for some reason, I would never show up. Ever. Not for some reason. For a reason. It's, I would never show up. Ever. Ever yeah. again. He said it's coming back next year. I'm We're gonna, Brooklyn at. Dolan called you a liar, bro. We're Brooklyn. He, he called you a, a drama. Uh, uh, well, he didn't call you this, but he essentially called you a drama queen. Called you a bitch. That is bullshit. He called you a bitch, and it's his thing. Like, like that motherfucker kicked you out of an entrance that you've been taking for the last twenty eight years because he can't. And let's be clear, I don't think it's a problem that they didn't want him to use the employee entrance anymore. Personally, if I own a team, you can use whatever the fuck interest that you want to Bring use your ass because in here, you're Spike Lee, yeah. and you have paid more money than anybody here. Nachos, beer, chips, buy all yeah. that shit. My you know what I'm you saying? You literally are paying for contracts. <laughs> literally, Bro. literally. How Bro. much does a seat cost to sit in? Well, his cost three thousand a game. Come on, man. <laughs> you're on, paying man. So, for contract. For me, I would do that. But cool. Let's say the policy change. You don't want him to use that interest anymore. That's fine. That's cool. Spike is already in the building. Let him go. Allow him to go to his seat and say, hey, Spike, hey, just to let you know, we changed some things with the rules. So need, you know, Because we have a VIP entrance. Going to need you to use the VIP entrance because we're doing this for security reasons, whatever. Whatever whatever reason you want to give him. Corona okay, reasons, cool. Yeah. I believe that Spike Lee... <laughs> it, corona reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that Spike Lee is a as an intelligent enough and reasonable enough person to, if you had told him that, he would have been, okay, cool. You know, no problem. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to drag me out the elevator. Don't bring five security guards to, to meet me. Don't say that. Is that what they did, bro? Is that what they did? Yes. They ain't drag them. No, I said they tried to. Oh, they tried to. They tried to. He got on the elevator. Elevator wasn't moving. Elevator opens back up. It's five security guards standing there saying, hey, Mr. Lee, we need you to come with us. 
What you need me to come with you for? I need you to get him out the, uh, out the elevator. You can't use his interest anymore. Am I under arrest? Nick said he put his hands behind the back and said, arrest me if I'm about to be arrested. But if I'm not, be arre- uh, if I'm not about to be arrested, Move, bitch. I'm about to go to my seat. Get out the way. Facts. I feel them. Some people say that's dramatic, but when you have spent as much money, I know I've seen mad people talk about some, oh, this is that sense of entitlement. You deserve to be entitled when you have spent $10 million over two decades with an organization, bro. Money talks. I don't care what nobody probably, says. These motherfuckers probably ain't even spent ten million dollars on goddamn repairs for the goddamn <laughs> Madison Square Garden. That, Come might, on, be, that man. might be real. Come on, man. And that's that's, probably, real that's shit. probably real because it ain't easy to fix here, shit in New York. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop traffic. Nah, Come on. Man. And there are certain <laughs> courtesies that are just it's just it's the courtesy of it. And like he said, he said, "Yo," he told Stephen A. and Max Kellerman. Whenever I miss when I miss a payment by a day, when oh, you know what, to, to pay for my thing, oh, they blow my phone up. But you can't call me and tell me that there was a, a, a policy change and that I can't use this anymore. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't inform me of that ahead of time, but mm-hmm. you can hit me up about that money. The hypocrisy, yeah. Come on. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, they're, they're, they're making a statement with that. Making and fam, a, make I, an example out of him. the man use the employment. Like, not, now he's not. Now he doesn't care to do so, and you might have changed his whole perspective on being a Knicks fan. But... No, I don't think that you're changing this perspective on being a Knicks fan. I think that you will change the way that he shows that. Mm. I think that's definitely going to be changed as long as James Dolan continues to own that team. He need to come out with a mixtape with goddamn Charles Oakley. Mm. And they need to go in, bro. Straight up. I mean... Patrick Ewan featured on two songs. Get Mark <laughs> Jackson on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Marbury. Damn, man. Marbury. 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 That's back from China. China. Hell yeah, <laughs> bro. Hey, man. Hey, man. Get that Corona Step shit out of here. Back. Hell yeah. Throw Spreewell on that bitch. Marbury. Choke a bitch out, bro. Get Spreewell on that motherfucker, bro. Come on, man. That shit'll go, bro. Fuck the Knicks. That, bro, that <laughs> shit'll be hard, bro. That'd be hard. I know I'm just dreaming, but come on, man. I see that shit. Nah, we can't. Marbury can't come back. They got the coronavirus. Damn. He in China. No, he don't, man. That nigga head too big to don't get, get any virus. That nigga bro. head is gonna get bigger. <laughs> what? Nigga step off. Marbury can take a punch, nigga. Come on, man. That That's nigga can take a for. virus, bro. That nigga sees <laughs> that shit up. <laughs> He can take a punch. He can take a life changing virus. Hell yeah, yeah, he can, man. He sneezed that shit out, bro. Come on, man. Yo, Shoot. boy, you are tripping. This is that shit talk. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Come on, man. Go but he do got it. a head like an extraterrestrial, though, bro. Stop playing, man. Come on, yeah. man. Nephilim head, bro. Nephilim, Nephilim head. God, mm. you pull it out. You going in? What's your, what's your beef with Marvin? Yeah. It ain't no beef, man. It's just how I see it, bro. It's yeah. jokes, man. Man, what the fuck's talking about my hairline? Man, stop playing, man. Come on, man. Yeah, but you are going in on this, man. I'm just talking shit. Any man, my very rich man. He don't get no fucks about Joe Money Jackson. <laughs> Playing, man. But shout out to Spike Lee, man. I was gonna read his tweet, but it's, it's unnecessary. It's too fucking long. What? I'm oh, not. Just you know, we got we got three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. All right. Listen, Spike Lee recently said this a few days ago. <clears throat> Good morning, orange and blue sky. That's not how he talks. We tell him. Um, on Monday. March 2nd. He don't talk like that either. Hey, bro, just, it's, 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 right, in the year of our Lord. <laughs> Lord. He spelled it L-A-W-D, Lord. Lord. 2020, this ticket was scanned as I went through the employee interest on West 33rd Street. Had used this interest for over the last 30 years. The previous time was last Wednesday afternoon when I introduced the hit... I like this. When I introduced the hit Broadway play to Kill a Mockingbird for a free performance to 18,000 New York City public school kids. Mm. On my dear mother's grave, Miss Jacqueline Shelton Lee. This nigga's going in. No one from the garden had ever told me I could not use the employee interest until garden security told me to get off the elevator once I have entered this ticket was scanned. Yo, this nigga need periods, bro. Um, <laughs> bro, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, believe what you want, the garden lied on me. <laughs> This nigga, this nigga is a hood nigga, boy. This is a Brooklyn nigga for real. Uh, think about this. All of a sudden, I'm going to think up some insane BS like this. After 30 years, I just decided to blow up the spot. I think it says the spot. Uh, the, uh, for what? For publicity? What am I promoting? To put myself back on the pages of New York Daily and New York Post? I've been worldwide famous since 19 motherfucking 86. <laughs> he going in. This nigga typing how we talk. This nigga typing how you feel right now. 86. What the fuck with mad exclamation points? Uh, this is nothing but the the three. Wait, wait, no, no. This is nothing but the S from the garden. Shenanigans. The fuck does that say? 
Subterfuge. Oh, thank you. Subterfuge. And <laughs> fuck that is. And Skullduggery. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. I never, I hey, never heard that, of it. That was a rapper on No Limit. Yeah. Skullduggery. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But what's yeah, funny? Yeah, you ever say, you ever say the next motherfucker I heard use the word Skullduggery? Who? Mike Tyson. <laughs> Skullduggery. <laughs> After he bit that nigga ear, I ripped it right off his Skullduggery. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitch. I love Mike Tyson. <laughs> I had to look that shit up. <laughs> Keep reading. In closing, I have uh, I have but love for the players on the Nick, the New York Knickerbockers. He said Knickerbocker, but that's what they are. Uh, don't get it is. twisted. It's between me and Dolan, like the like the knuckle rings on our brother Radio Raheem wore it and do the right thing. Love versus hate. Love, Whoa. peace, orange and blue skies forever. Um, and just so you you guys yeah. know, skullduggery means underhanded or unscrupulous behavior or trickery. Uh, hmm. So what I said about the Mike Tyson joke made no sense. <sighs> no. Okay. But it was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. I think Spike Lee should say fuck the Knicks and move on, man. There's, there's nothing wrong with That's change. I think. Obama had a whole campaign. Change. Snip. <laughs> change. Snip. The, 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 the Nets are in your hometown of Brooklyn. Cut that bitch off. They have Kevin Durant. They have Kyrie. Make the move. Yep. Fuck them niggas. I'm yep. serious. Knicks are not doing nothing. They're going to keep selling out the garden and they're going to keep making money. Yep. And they obviously don't care that you are that um, great of a fan. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's going to do that. No, he's Only not. because, and if you look at it from a, a, a logical standpoint, if I've been a fan of a team for a long time, I'm not going to just jump ship. If I'm as true a fan as I say that I yeah, am, not. I'm not going to just make another team my team. One of my lines is, you was real until you did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cer- you, you, certain things make your ass goddamn respond accordingly. And he'll be a lame... bro. I would be very disappointed if I see this motherfucker in another fucking Patrick Ewing jersey baseline. He, he's going to be, be there, bro. You better go, bro. Well, fuck. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say he I'm disappointed him. He's going to be there next year. Yeah, because, yeah. again, his beef is not with the Knicks. His beef is with the ownership. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like, I mean, it may not be the Knicks players, but that sounds like the Knicks. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's a because, di- like, if you got beef with Donald Dolan, Trump, that, you know, he's the president of the United States. James Dolan, the previous owner, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, James Dolan's father, who was the previous owner, was a great owner. The Had son. No problem. The son. Now the son is taking over. Now he got, you know what I'm saying? He's posturing. Same, that was the same scenario with the Lakers. The elders is all yep. good, and then when the little motherfucking Brit brats take over and shit, you want to fuck up bruh, tradition, bro? Think about how this that, that kid grew up. You grew up the as the son and heir of the fucking Knicks. He's an asshole, bro. Th- you didn't have to be though. No, you didn't have to be. That's the fit in my opinion. Always, fail the father. Yeah, Even, but but it's, it's damn. like, and, and this is another thing. Like, remember the the heir to the Disney Empire, right? Mm-hmm. She said some shit about Kobe being a rapist on a tweet. Like, they're so disconnected, bro. You know what I'm saying? And but she's a fucking heir to Disney. Same thing with this little fucker. You know what I mean? He's just, <laughs> he just a little bitch ass kid. He go, oh, yeah. You do realize he's not young. I know, but that ain't him. the point. That ain't the point. You know what I mean? I think he's older than me. He Fuck gonna that call guy. A fifty year old man, a little fucker. <laughs> a little fucker. Hey, bro, that's he what is. he acting like. Ain't that's like exactly that, man. the temper tantrum bullshit. This dude grew up. You, how you grew up? Family owns the Knicks, man. Like, I don't know if they were able to balance this kid out. I know he has authority issues, like power issues. I know he looks James at Dolan is 64 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's called Duggery shit we talk about. <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker need to act his age, bro. Facts. My bad. He's 64? Facts. He's 64 years Damn, old. Damn, how old is his dad? When is his dad? Uh, how old is he? Oh, like man, 110? Like, this nigga <laughs> got the team at 60 and shit. <laughs> like, his dad was around for a minute. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Fuck it. I get you. Spike Lee ain't leaving. I think he should. He won't because, if, like you said, if you're the real fan like that, you're not going to leave. You're going you're gonna to stick by your, your brethren. But, um... Nah, man, fuck that team. That's how. That's how. That's some personal mm-hmm. feeling. Yeah. Fuck the Knicks. Yeah. Fuck them. I like the Knicks, man. Because I, I grew up with Ewing and shit. But this guy, this James fuck guy. Em. I have respect for the legacy, but I mean, yeah. as of right now, this y'all guy. ain't doing nothing. Right. I mean, like, is trash. What, what legacy? Trash. The only the thing they did trash. was just make the playoffs against Michael Jordan. <laughs> they got a ring <laughs> somewhere in the seventies, bro. Yeah, but they got one. They got one though. 
I mean, I, I know, I know. It's but still an accomplishment. It's, it's still in your resume. Come on, bro. We got. We Can got you one. name one player that was on that team? Uh, Bill Russell. No. <laughs> No. I have no idea. No. The Bill fuck. Russell's a Celtic. I know. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck is. Yeah, but now nah, I dig it, man. I get it, man. Um, the Knicks definitely are historical, but now, nah, man, this is some historical fuck shit. Mm. Historical hypocrisy. Get him. Uh, that's it. I'm sorry. Okay, all right, all right, all right. They have my bars. All right, all right. Well, that's what's up, man. Hey, Spike, we standing uh, supporting you, my brother. Uh, you. Fight the power. Um, hey, all the owners. Cut the nonsense out because a lot of y'all that do nonsense. But none like James Dolan. James Dolan, you're trash. The Knicks, y'all are trash too, but yeah, y'all just trash. Yeah, I was going to try to yeah, take no, it no, 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 no. but y'all just Since trash. Allen Houston, y'all been garbage. Yeah, <laughs> since, garbage. Since Anthony Mason, y'all been garbage. Yeah. Mm. That was a long time ago. Since Marbury, they were garbage. I think Marbury was dead. I don't think they did it great. Nah, they they they, 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 they I mean, shit. <laughs> I he was averaging they, 20 points yeah, per game. <laughs> they ain't do too good, so yeah. yeah. All right, man. Yeah, it, he went to China. Penny Hardaway played for the <laughs> fucking Knicks, man. <laughs> Knicks can get whoever the fuck they want, man. They don't have to. No, they can't. No, they can't. Not anymore. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure they have enough pull to get a decent squad. They didn't get KD. Bro, no, 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 no. Yeah. They, they had Maybe Mello. not KD, but they maybe, had, maybe they, tier two. A group of tier two players. They had Melo in his prime. <laughs> Nobody hey, wants to play speak. for the Knicks. No, money, money does speak. But it gets to be it gets to a point with when you're in the NBA because there are a lot of other teams that you can pull from that you can play for. Yeah, that's true. If I have a enough. choice, I'm going somewhere else. I think I'm not it's, going it's, to play for the Knicks. Y'all have too many problems, too much drama. It's just ugh. it's the culture of the um the um the organization. Yeah, it's not the city because you would like to think a lot of people would want to play for Atlanta, but. It's sort of the same scenario, man. Oh, the Hawks are... See, we didn't go talk about the, the Hawks. That's what I'm saying. Well, because Knicks. you want to come to the city, yeah. but you don't want to play for the Hawks. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. It is what it Let's is, Let's end man. it with, uh, maybe they should do the right thing. Wrap it up, then. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's what's up. Well, we're going to wrap it up, then. Yeah. Um, as always, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, the bell's about to ring. Uh, everybody has a seat at the cool table. Until next week, we out. Peace.